You want to buy a car for $32,000. You put 15% down. The company is offering a 3.6% interest rate for five years. What will your monthly payments be? What is the total amount you will end up paying for the car? And how much interest will you pay over the entire loan period? We will determine the monthly payments by using the TVM solver as well as the loan formula. To begin though, we need to determine the down payment and the loan amount. The down payment is 15% of $32,000, which means the loan amount is 85% of $32,000. 85% because 100% minus 15% is 85%. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply, and therefore the down payment is equal to 0.15 times 32,000, giving us $4,800, and the loan amount is equal to 0.85 times 32,000, which is equal to $27,200. We can also determine the loan amount by subtracting $4,800 from $32,000. Now that we know the loan amount, we can determine the monthly payment. Let's first find the monthly payment using the TVM solver. We begin by determining the information required shown here below, where capital N is the total number of payments or compounding periods. Because you're paying monthly for five years, capital N is five times 12, which is equal to 60. I percent is the annual interest rate, which is 3.6%. We enter 3.6. PV is the present value or the starting amount of the loan, which is the $27,200. PMT is the payment which we are solving for. FV is the future value or the balance of the loan after the five years. After five years, the loan is paid off and therefore the future value is zero. Payments per year and compounds per year are both 12. And now we go to the calculator. We press apps, enter for finance, enter for TVM solver, and now enter the information. Capital N is five times 12 or 60. Interest rate is 3.6. Present value is 27,200. We are solving for a payment, we'll come back to this. Future value is zero. Payments per year and compounds per year are both 12 and we leave the payment on end. So now we go back up to the payment cell and we solve for the payment by pressing alpha enter. Notice it's negative because you pay this amount each month. To the nearest cent we have $496.03. So now we know the payments are going to be $496.03. Let's also check this using the loan formula. For the loan formula shown here, P sub zero is the loan amount, PMT is the loan payment, R is the annual interest rate as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year, and T is the length of the loan in years. Notice how for the loan formula, lowercase n is the number of compounds per year, and for the TVM solver, capital N, is the total number of payments or compounding periods over the entire loan, which is equal to lowercase n times t. So we need to be careful about what the n represents. Using the loan formula, p sub zero is 27,200. PMT is what we are solving for. R as a decimal is 0 0.036, which is located here and here in the formula. And the number of compounds per year is 12 which is here in the denominator, as well as here in the denominator, and the exponent is negative nt, which is negative 12 times five. And now we need to solve this equation for PMT by multiplying both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of this fraction here. We see the reciprocal of the fraction shown in red. Focusing on the right side of the equation, notice how this product here simplifies the one because this quotient divided by itself simplifies the one, and this quantity divided by itself also simplifies the one, leaving us with PMT on the right side of the equation, and now we need to evaluate the left side on the calculator. To go back to the home screen, we press second mode for quit, and we enter the expression on the right.
To get out of the exponent position, we press the right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how we also get $496.03 for the monthly payment. Next, what is the total amount you will end up paying for the car? The total amount paid for the car is equal to the down payment plus the monthly payment times the number of payments. The down payment is $4,800, and then we have plus the monthly payment times number of payments, which is five times 12 or 60. So we have plus 496.03 times 60, and now we go back to the calculator. The total cost is $34,561.80. For part C, how much interest will you pay over the entire loan period? There are a couple of ways to determine this amount. One way is to take the monthly payment times the number of payments and then subtract the loan amount. Let's first find the total interest this way. So we have the monthly payment of $496.03 times the number of payments, which is 60, and then subtract the loan amount of $27,200. Going back to the calculator, we get $2,561.80. We could have also determined this amount by taking part B, the total amount paid, and subtracting the price of the car of $32,000. I hope you found this helpful.